Hello my fellow developers, welcome back to part 2 of how to make a line simulator game. Let's jump straight in. Now, you're gonna need to drag a file, linked in my discord server by the way, it's linked in the description. Now you wanna make it like flat on the ground, like so it meets the base plate. And now, what you wanna do is ungroup all the models in the correct locations. So for example, if it says ungroup in replicated storage, you would ungroup it in replicated storage. In order for the system to work, you need to go to settings and enable API services. It should be in security. Once that's enabled, just press confirm. Now it's time to explain what the end part does. This is the part where the player will walk to when the timer has been completed. And this is the teleport part. When they are finished walking to the end part, they will get teleported here. You can put like a basement or bathroom or whatever you want here. You can make them invisible if you want and hide the text, but for the sake of this tutorial, I will leave them visible. If you want to make more tiles, just rename them. They're all in the spots folder. Just create another one and just move it down by 8 studs. If you want to test the game, but you have my friends, what you want to do is create a server. Let me show you how it's done. Now, go to test, choose 3 players because it's the best, or you can choose like 8 if you want, I don't, I don't really care at all. Now, after like a couple minutes, you should be loaded into the actual game, and this is how it works. So basically, you skip, and you're in the first position, you have a timer, but if you're above first, you just have to pay money. And once your timer has been finished, you can walk freely and walk at wherever you want. Now to prove that you can't walk while you're in the line, I've loaded on my iPhone. And as you can see, the joystick is not there and the jump button is non-existent. So technically, I cannot walk. Now time for the monetization tutorial. Now first, you want to go into the Robux buy button, which is in cut frame and open the local script. Now, as you can see, there's a dev product ID here. Here's a quick tutorial on how to make a dev product. Once you configured your experience, you're gonna go down to dev products in monetization. After that, you wanna press create a dev product and name it whatever you want. And you don't need to add an image and then change the Robux amount to whatever you want and press create. Then just copy the ID under the text. Paste it right there where it says dev ID. Now for the run to the end button, it's a value in the button. Now time to explain the money earning system I made. So basically, it's multiplied by 1.5 every time. Now if you go to one of these local scripts, there will be a script showing the multiplied costs so basically it's multiplied by 10 if you want to increase the cut costs you have to go to each local script there's only two you need to edit it's the first and second one and just change it and make it exactly the same to avoid issues now the last thing i need to explain is the corner system so basically this is the corners i have in my game so it's two four and six but if you happen to have an eighth corner i'll teach you how to do it so first what you want to do is select any you want but preferably do it highest to lowest and make it eight and then change the position to eight well that's about it if you have any questions or need help join the discord server and 50 likes for part two goodbye guys